electric motor, synthetic rigging, classic sailboat, no electronics, crossing the Atlantic Ocean. Going where the fair winds blow, our home is where the waters flow. We'll show you what we've come to know on board while sailing wisdom. morning everyone so it's time for another forecast at sea okay so pressure's dropping and let's look at the sky see what the clouds are telling us about today okay so there's a couple things going on out there so first you can see there's a lot of those clouds that are climbing so that's indicative of a low pressure you have air that's rising which means you're going to be having more wind and then the other thing, the barometer of pressure is dropping as well. Now all of this ties into something important. So a couple days ago we jived, and when we jived, we switched tacks and we went from sailing away from a low pressure to sailing towards the center of a low pressure. And as you get closer to a center of a low, you get more wind. So we left Cape Verde here, and we're just heading south, just going along. And what's going on, there's a high pressure here, which is the Azores High, which it's pretty much the, the big thing that controls the, the gyre of the Atlantic. So you have a high up here, which means opposite it, you're gonna have a low down here. So we were going along like this, heading more towards the high and having less wind. So a couple days ago we jibed, and then now we're heading more towards the low where we get more wind. So now we got a lot of wind. Now the other really, really awesome thing. So who cares about where we actually are on the map because the Celestial, you have a rough idea where you are, but you don't know your exact position. But the important part is now we are in tracks of Sargassum. Now Sargassum is this like floating sea lettuce. We could call it sea parsley, actually. <laughs> It'll be sea parsley. So there's a sea parsley just running all over the place. Now this Sargassum, circulates through the Atlantic. This is the map of the entire North Atlantic. Now the Sargassum lives out in the middle. Now this is our track when we went across to the Azores and then over to Europe and now we're coming back. Now the Sargassum, it's concentrated in the Sargasso Sea which from Bermuda it's kind of in this area and it just circulates and it's the Atlantic Gyre. Now along it you have all these tracks that just run around and flow. So that means that if we are seeing Sargassum on our way back, that means that we are in the flow of the gyre that comes back to the Caribbean. Because I grew up in Puerto Rico, and over here we get a lot of Sargassum. The fact that we're seeing these tracks running along means that we are now in the gyre. So we have the trade winds carrying us, we have the current carrying us, and we're just going to float across. So we're heading for down here. This is where we're heading to. So it's a little further south of the Caribbean, but it's all good. We're just going along with the flow, and we're just gonna make our way there. As we get further and further south, it gets hotter and hotter. And it is so hot today. <laughs> I'm gonna be really glad for my cold shower. But uh, it's hard to put on clothes when it is this hot. However, I got a little bit of sun poisoning from uh, just being outside even in the shade so I'm gonna try to stay inside today because let myself heal because that can get bad it's yet another perk of sailing <laughs> where it's too hot to wear clothing <laughs> we are double reefed in our main and just flying a staysail and going seven knots and the boat is doing beautifully. We can hardly feel the rolling. We're barely healing at all. It's just, it's a very comfortable point of sail and it, we're gliding beautifully. This is the kind of stuff that our wisdom was made for. Yep, the easy downwind ocean passages. <laughs> <laughs> there are also tons of flying fish all around us, which are really hard to capture with the camera, but it's a 
super magical thing to see when you're in the middle of the Atlantic and you've just got these flying fish skitting about. Even though it looks at first glance like we're surrounded by miles and miles and miles of nothingness, the reality is we're surrounded by life. The Sargassum is an ecosystem all in itself. And then we've got these flying fish and tons and tons of bioluminescence at night. We're just, this is the essence of the earth. We are surrounded by all the life. We are not alone. I was running inside of the shadows Like a wolf who was racing the storm Oh, I believe, I believe, I believe In the feeling, the feeling, the feeling I believe, I believe, I believe I got fire inside my blood Blood into my body I'm ready for anything Okay, so some super fast math. The declination is currently around 11 degrees. And declination is simply the, where the sun is in relation to the equator. So we're in the winter, so the sun is south of the equator by Thank 11 you. degrees. Bless you. Thank you. I will do the calculator to figure out where I think we are, and then Maddie will give her opinion of how I did. So my calculated position for where we are at noon site, at our local apparent noon, is 12 degrees, 25 minutes north, 23 degrees, 45 minutes west. So I have that we are now here today, but yesterday we were up here and the day before over here. Yeah. This was the first time I couldn't see land and we went really far. Now we're back under these islands. Now the, the whole issue is this is having us go way east and this whole time we've been going southwest. So I'm gonna say that these two are probably off and that I got better at it today. But <laughs> the point is we're making our way south or giant east bends. You never know. I know and I know we are on an excellent course. So I'm not going to change our course because and it's not just because Maddie says that this is an excellent course. I know this is a good course because we're seeing Sargassum and we're following along with them. We're going with the current, with the winds and heading south. So all you do at this time is literally go south. And the, the expression is you head south till the butter melts, then you turn right. That butter melted. Oh, it is that, so hot. That butter is a puddle. Yeah, it's so freaking hot. We're going super south because we want to avoid hurricanes. The first three days I battled seasickness with the patch, but you can only use the patch for three days. Now I'm off the patch and I am puking everywhere. <laughs> got great winds today, but with great winds comes big seas. We're rocking and rolling, that's for sure. But we've definitely got something to look at. It keeps it interesting. <laughs> Literally right after saying that, I got hit by a wave. <laughs> I'm drenched. I think now is a good time to take that shower. I do not know what it is, but today I cannot keep my eyes open. I'm just so tired. And last night I got really good sleep. I'm pooped, Maddie's puked and pooped. Like it's just, I don't know, we're just really sleepy. So, yeah, take it easy today. We're moving along between four and six knots. So say five, somewhere in that area. That's gonna give us about 120 miles per day. That's respectable. I'm, I'm very pleased with that. So there's no need to put more sail up to go a little faster because we're going fast enough as it is. And if you guys noticed how the radio is censored so I don't see our GPS readout. And I'm just, you know, just from Celestial, which according to Maddie, I'm doing so-so. Yeah, the important part is right now we're just heading south and our heading is 198, so say about 200 degrees. So we're going southwest, 
And we're just going to keep going south until we're far enough south or something in the sky says it's time to turn. Yeah, I just don't feel like doing anything. So, to perk myself up, I'm going to make some chocolate chip muffins. Little mini muffins that we can eat chocolate chip muffins and feel better about life. So yesterday we were running into an issue with power consumption. So the fridge was just chugging the electricity and the batteries were getting low. So all we did yesterday was just turn on regen and overnight the motor just charged everything back up. So it was really nice because once the sun came out, the solar panels simply just like polished off the electrical system, you know, charging the batteries. But the bulk of it was done by the electric motor with regen acting like a hydro generator. That's been really nifty. We don't need to fire up a generator or just any of that. It's just easy. Like if it's sunny, your solar panels. If it's not sunny, hydro generator. So right now the boat's kind of a hot box because we've, oh yeah. we've getting, been getting waves over the side. Not, not often, but, but often enough so that, that, that it's can. not good to open a porthole. All the portholes are uh, very wet. Yeah, and then I actually had to close up the sea hood in the companionway because waves were spraying in onto the galley. Meanwhile, he's making muffins in the oven and the oven's just... 350 degrees of delicious. <laughs> Heating up. It's worth it because muffins, but oh my gosh, it's so hot in here. Now we have about 70 four ish mini muffins. We have 74 muffins? Who's gonna eat all these muffins? This guy. <laughs> okay, so this is our first squall of our transatlantic. And Maddie's sleeping in the salon with the sea berth because it's too rough to be up in the V berth. She's getting bounced around and with her seasickness today, calm is better. And this is the kind of situation during our sales where Herbie really shows his stuff. <laughs> it got pretty insane. Uh, I, in the stern light, you'd see the wake like go because we had a wake because we were going really fast. Well, there's some pretty ominous looking clouds out ahead. So we're just keeping the sail plan. The wind comes, the wind goes. That's about the only positive at this moment. <laughs> Very uncomfortable. Thanks for watching this episode of Sailing Wisdom. Don't forget to like the video, share it with your friends, and hit subscribe so you don't miss the next Rigging Doctor episode. And if you're interested in even more Rigging Doctor awesomeness, consider becoming a patron to see all of our extras. I can't wait to see you next time as you join us out here on the high seas. So. We left Cape Verde here. Now, if we're just going along, 